Welcome, welcome, welcome to this week's top tip, keyboard shortcuts in Microsoft Word. Now, we all love to speed up the way that we work and knowing a few key shortcuts is gonna help you do just that. Instead of forever taking your hands off the keyboard to reach for the mouse, you're gonna keep them firmly on the keyboard while you execute some of my favorite keyboard shortcuts. Now, a lot of these shortcuts I used to teach back in the day when everybody went on a basic Microsoft Word course. Nowadays, people are expected to just jump into work and know how to use the applications. And that's where I come in. Remember to hit the subscribe button and subscribe to my channel because there's lots more to come. Let's get stuck in to keyboard shortcuts in Word. I have a long document here all about seven reasons for coffee lovers to swap the supermarkets for the independent trader. Now, if you've attended any of my sessions before, then you'll know that I spend a lot of my time training using my coffee shop analogies. And this document has 12 pages and 3,296 words, so it's reasonably long. Now, I received this document from a copywriter friend who wrote this um, as an example document, and I have reformatted it from how I received it because he didn't use styles and automatic formatting, which I bang on about quite a lot. If you've seen me before, you'll be familiar with that. So I've added in my heading styles. I've got my heading ones, I've got my normal text, and I've got some heading twos as well, heading ones and heading twos throughout my document. Now, I want to navigate this document quite fast, and one of the best ways to do that is using the heading styles as kind of markers for jumping points around your document. That's what I call them anyway. So we're going to go to the view ribbon and we're going to turn on the navigation pane. While I'm here, I also turn on the ruler. I quite like to have the ruler and I'd forgotten it had got switched off there. So I am now looking at the navigation pane over here on the left of the screen and I can jump straight to reason number two. Rather neat. I can go and look at reason number five and I can get quite back up to the beginning right from there. So that's my top tip for navigating using the navigation pane. And you'll notice that you can just turn it off. You can also change it to show pages if you prefer to go page by page. And results is where it will show things that you've asked it for. So if I look for the word coffee, I'm sure I'm gonna find lots of coffee throughout this document. And I can then jump to any of those results or those headings that mention coffee. So that's the navigation pane. So that's my top tip number one. My top tip number two are some keyboard shortcuts. Now I'm scrolling up using the mouse and I'm sure you will agree that that's fairly tedious. But if I want to get right from the top of this document all the way to the end of the document, I can use a keyboard shortcut. Control and the end key. I'm looking down because it's on my keyboard. And that jumps me to the last location where text was entered. Control and home will bring me right back up to the top of the document. All very well and good. So here I am at the beginning of a paragraph. I want to get to the end of that row or the end of that line. I'll just use the end key and it jumps me straight there. The home key will jump me back. Now, these are things that I used to teach 20 years ago when I first, or over 20 years ago, when I first started teaching a word basic course. And I think they're no longer taught because people don't do that kind of training anymore. So I thought it was a good idea to remind you of these great shortcuts. So what else can I do? Well, I can use the shift key to select and I can select one character at a time using the right arrow key. And if I use the left arrow key, I'm deselecting. If I use the down arrow key, I'm selecting row by row. And the up arrow key will deselect as well. Well, that's great. What if I want a whole paragraph or I want to use the mouse? So with the mouse, I can click in the margin once to select the row, twice for the paragraph, and triple click for the whole document. And the keyboard shortcut for the whole document, as I'm sure you're aware, is control and the letter A. And escape or click 
should get you out of it. Now, you do know that when you have something selected and you press the Enter key, it deletes it. So be careful with that one. But my favorite shortcut is when I want to pick up a sentence that spans a row. And so I've got one here. I want to pick up all the way to there. Now, I just did it with the mouse and that's fairly okay, but I didn't get the full stop and I might drag over or under. But if I hold down the control key and click, that picks up exactly the sentence. So then I can move that sentence to somewhere else should I wish to. Now I want to show you a couple more tips about selecting or rather deleting things. So I'm here at the end of the word greeted and perhaps I want to get rid of that word greeted. So I could backspace, um, I could um, yeah, use backspace to do that one at a time. Um, but I could also use control and backspace and that will remove the whole word. Control and delete will move a word to the right. So control and backspace, a word to the left. Control and delete, a word to the, light, to the right. So I hope you are enjoying those quick navigation tips. Well, I hope you found those tips really useful. Let me know in the comments which ones you're going to implement and which ones you found most useful. I'd love to hear from you. And I'll see you in another video here on YouTube very soon. Remember, hit that subscribe button.